Hi, it's Heather. We're here to talk about transplanting and direct sowing today. And I'm here to guide you through how to do it perfectly. So some do's and don'ts for transplanting and direct sowing are loosen your soil and amend as needed. And then for your transplants, make sure that they have true leaves and that they're not root bound. And let's play in the dirt. So here we have some charred transplants. You'll notice they have true leaves, which is not the first leaves they get, but you want three, four, five leaves. And then the main thing to check is underneath, you see these little root tendrils. Sometimes you'll see, especially with what you get from the nursery, that they'll be all over the place. And that means that they're root bound. It's very difficult to get them out of the container without breaking roots. And breaking roots stresses the plant out and makes it so that it's way more likely to go to flower very quickly or to be weak against pests and various diseases. So you want a strong plant that's not gonna flower immediately, especially if you're doing something like chard or kale or lettuce, things like that. You want to not see more than this little bit of tendril of root. And so assuming that it's a good start that you feel good about taking space in your dome with, we're gonna carefully pop it out, come close to the ground so that if one falls out, it doesn't get destroyed. And believe me, I've done this. <laughs> and then just press on the bottom gently and very gently press on the sides. What we're trying to do is not break the root structure up because the more those roots are whole, then the healthier that plant's gonna be. So see, it all came out. Now the trick is, if you're doing this during the day, make sure that it doesn't get a lot of UV light because that UV light on the roots is also gonna stress your plant. So you wanna either do it quickly or put your body or something else in the way of the light. So here we go. I'm gonna dig a hole. Take this carefully, usually hold the bottom so it doesn't collapse depending on the soil you use. And what you want is a right about level with the soil. And then carefully fill it back in. If you've got slightly chunky or wetter soil, sometimes carefully go like this around the edges. Careful not to hit the roots of the plant to try to gently fill it in. Again, without breaking up the root structure. And then depending on your plant, how big it's gonna get, you wanna make sure you have enough spacing. So we're gonna give eh, about seven inches or so because it's charred, it'll be tight. And do it again, close to the ground. Press on the bottom of the container, slight gentle press. And then it should pop right out, assuming it's not root bound. Gently. And then there we go. So our soil is prepped. It's all softened up. And so when I direct, so I like to do vines, but as you can see from these carrots here, I also do broadcasting in certain situations. But we're gonna plant some turnips today. So we're gonna do it special for turnips and various other root vegetables that I'm gonna to wanna to mound later because they push themselves up when they get bigger. So for turnips, sometimes I'll use the shovel and sometimes I'll use my hand. I'm gonna do lines so it'll be easier to thin them and it'll be also easier to pick them. So, and mound them up. So I'm gonna do some trenches. Depending on how big you're growing your roots will be depending on how far across or how far apart your trenches are. So we'll get them down there because I'm gonna to wanna to mound them up later. Here's our turnip seeds.
And if your seed is older, make sure that you use more. But if it's newer seed, you can just do a very light sprinkle like I'm doing because your germination rate's gonna be good with newer seed. When I direct sow, I like to use potting soil. It's really light and fluffy. It's easy for your seeds to get through there. So when they, when they sprout, it's easier for them to come up through this. And it retains moisture better than most garden soil, so you don't have to water twice a day, or sometimes more than that, if it's summertime, you don't have to worry as much, and then you'll get a better germination rate. So I sprinkle a little bit of this on top for the smaller seeds, and for the bigger seeds, you want more soil on top. But since these are turnip seeds, we're just gonna give them a little sprinkle on top. And I'm allowing the trench to stay indented because as the turnip grows, I'm gonna mound it. And that gives me some space to do that. So here we are with some turnips that I planted a few weeks back, maybe a couple. And see how their roots are kind of exposed? And I gave them some space in here that I can mound them up so that we don't have big purple tops. And then just keep doing this so that you have really sweet, healthy turnips or carrots or beets or parsnips, any root vegetables. I like to leave some space to mound up. Very important with direct sowing is that you make sure these stay moist. If it requires in the summer for you to water twice a day with the soil that you use, be out there to water twice a day until your seeds pop. I hope this was helpful in helping you be completely successful with your garden. And as usual, if you have any questions, you can email me or call Growing Spaces. We're always here to help.